I'd love to have a place to cook a turkey. Love to have a place to set up a Christmas tree. New at 11, a Kokomo man is living out of a suitcase while he undergoes treatment for cancer. After reaching out to RTV6 and telling us he's no longer allowed to stay at the hotel, he's called home. We stepped in to help. RTV6's Graham Hunter is working for you live on the city's north side. Graham. Well, Stephen Widener is staying here at this extended Stay America. The company has a partnership with the American Cancer Society that allows patients to stay while they're getting treatments. But he's worried. He says the company is telling him he has to move out by Monday. Came here as, you know, part of cancer treatment and being close to IU Health. Stephen Widener has been living in this room with his three dogs for the last few weeks. I'm still on the front end of this and I needed to get settled. I need to get my routine established. Widener has stage 3 prostate cancer. His treatment will involve hormone therapy, surgery to remove his prostate, and radiation therapy. Here I am in my mid-40s, you know, um, looking down the barrel of severe cancer. The American Cancer Society has a partnership with various hotels, including Extended Stay America, that helps qualifying patients stay for free or at reduced rates. Widener was accepted into the program, but first, he made his own reservation at Extended Stay. As the American Cancer Society started offering me opportunities and benefits through their resources, um, Extended Stay just seems to not be willing to uh, cooperate with the process. A spokesman for Extended Stay says because Widener made the initial reservation once the American Cancer Society got involved, they made Widener a new reservation at a different Extended Stay across town, meaning Widener would have to move again. For me to move, um, I will have to make about three trips to the other side of town to move all of the stuff I brought with me for business, my food and kitchen utensils. Widener says he was told he'll have to move again each week for the foreseeable future. I don't have other lodging options. I've been looking, I've been pursuing other op uh, alternatives just in case things fall apart. We first met Widener after he saw a story on RTV6 and volunteered to help a veteran on the Indianapolis South Side who needed help cleaning his backyard. It's kind of been nice to take a little of the focus off of my situation and, and try and help somebody else grow forward. Now Widener is open to a little help as well. I'd love to have a place to cook a turkey. Love to have a place to set up a Christmas tree. Well, it's those little things you look forward to in the toughest times. Eventually this will all be over. There will be a light at the end of the tunnel and life will be go on. After reaching out to extended stay tonight, they say Widener will be allowed to stay here until the end of the month at the American Cancer Society rate, but it's still unclear where he'll be able to go after that. We're reporting live from the north side, Graham Hunter, RTV6.